everyone welcome back to my channel today for what you make in Monday I am trying two new recipes so the first thing I'm going to be making is a chorizo tostada and then I will be making a charred corn salad but I think I'll actually put the corn on top of the tostada just to give it a little more texture color all that good stuff so I'm going to get right to it and show you how to make it. to cook I'm going to add in my tray of corn to the oven at 350 degrees because this salad is best served warm so I'm going to go ahead and do that for 15 minutes now it is time to make the dressing that goes on the corn salad so you will need four tablespoons of olive oil gonna eyeball it here if you need to add more you can always do that depending on the texture that you want to make sure everything is covered then you will need half teaspoon of cumin or a little bit more that's okay <laughs> And then let's just look at my recipe here. Half teaspoon of smoked papri paprika. Don't have that, but I'm just gonna use regular paprika. It'll be just, just fine. It says to use freshly squeezed lime juice. I don't have that, so my little assistant over here told me that one lime is the equivalent to about two tablespoons. So that's what I'm going to add in here. <laughs> and then I'm just going to give it a little stir. And then I will drizzle this over the corn when it is done.
time. So with this recipe, you could put it on a corn tortilla or anything like that. I just used tostadas. My family is not a big fan of the corn tortillas. And then with the corn, I added in green pepper from our garden instead of a jalapeno, just so it's not too spicy for our girls. So this is going to be a little bit messy. Let's give it a try. Super good. Not too spicy, but I also didn't add too much of those adobe peppers just because I want a little spice, but not too much. I think the corn would be great on its own, but I also like it on the tostada to give it a little extra. And then the queso fresco is also delicious and you can add it to enchiladas, tacos, any Mexican dish. So I would give this two thumbs up. But thank you for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get more videos in the future. I post new recipe videos on Monday and comment below what you're having for dinner tonight because it might be featured on a future video. I'll see you next time.